The RPG Fanatic Show is for hardcore RPG gamers. This video contains spoilers about the games reviewed. You have been warned! Welcome, fans of the RPG Fanatic Show, to another episode of RPGology. Today's episode, we're going to talk about the origins of the Triforce and the Legend of Zelda series. It's actually based on Shinto mythology, which is Japanese. And I'm honestly not a native speaker of Japanese, so I might fumble up some of the names. So please bear with me to understand I'm just trying to share information uh, to more of the community about the origins of this uh, great mythology that's in this video game series. The Triforce uses the same emblem as that of the Hojo, an influential clan in 12th century Japan who had immense political power. Known as the Mitsu Roko, the emblem represents three dragon scales. The legend goes that the first Hojo regent, Takumasa Hojo, visited the Inoshima Jinja Shrine and prayed for the prosperity of his descendants. Suddenly, a dragon appeared and granted his wish, leaving behind three of its dragon scales. The scales were incorporated into the design of the family crest, with each scale representing one of the three triangles. From then on, the shrine became closely associated with the Hojo clan, and monuments exist there with the Mitsu Oroko emblem engraved upon them. Also of particular interest to the Zelda series is that Inoshima Jinja Shrine is primarily dedicated to three Shinto goddesses, Tagatsuhimi, Ichikishimahimi, and Tagiri Himi. According to Shinto legends, these three deities were created when the god Suzanu visited the goddess Amaterasu. Suzanu was being banished from the heavens for refusing to obey Izanagi's order that Suzanu ruled the oceans and wished to see Amaterasu before he left. However, Amaterasu was distrusting of Suzanu's intent and so had to prove himself in a god-creating event. If the ritual resulted in male deities, then he had ill intentions, but if he produced female deities, then he was sincere. To perform the ritual, Amaterasu took Suzanu's sword, split it into three pieces, chewed them up in her mouth, and spit them back out, where the shards became three goddesses. Amaterasu commanded the goddesses to descend to the earth where they became patron deities of the Munukata clan. The goddesses themselves are believed to be sea deities that control the Genkai seas. Personally, I find it very interesting that the Inoshima Jinja Shrine is associated with three goddesses and the Hojo emblem, since the Zelda series also features three goddesses associated with the Triforce. It seems very likely that some key inspiration from The Legend of Zelda came from this particular shrine. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of RPGology, where we took a little peek at some of the real-life mythology behind the video game mythology of the Zelda series. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and look forward to the next episode of RPGology. Laters.